Well, I brought you something beautiful. Looks great. But there are no blueberries in it inside, and it tastes just like unflavored cake. It's just awful. So Yvonne's going to solve our blueberry muffin problems. That's right. We wanted a muffin that not only looked good, but tasted great. And we're going to start with making our own blueberry jam. We have five ounces or a cup of fresh blueberries and just a teaspoon of sugar. We're going to set this over medium heat. We thought adding extra blueberries to the muffin would equal more flavor, but it actually doesn't. Extra fresh fruit just adds too much moisture to the muffin and it just made the muffin soggy. So what we're doing here is we're going to take half of the blueberries that we're going to put in the muffin and we're going to concentrate it and cook off some of that moisture. So I'm just breaking up these berries a little bit with a spoon, and then it's going to cook down and reduce to about a quarter cup in the end. So you're breaking them up to get some of the juices mm -hmm. out? Obviously. Yeah, I'm helping it along. You don't have to break up all the berries, just some of them. So you tried more blueberries, mm -hmm. which was great for the people who grow blueberries, but you said it was just too much liquid. Exactly. And then the obvious choice would be dried blueberries. What was wrong with that? The texture was just too chewy. It was like a raisin. And then the really obvious choice was just go buy some blueberry jam in a jar, right? That's right. We actually liked that a lot. It had a flavor. You could swirl it into the muffin. But we found it a little too sweet. And even though it had great blueberry flavor, we wanted an even more potent flavor. We wanted more. We wanted more. Yvonne always <laughs> wants more. OK. And we like the fresh texture of the fresh blueberries, too. So we're going to use fresh blueberries in the muffin as well. We're just going to add a little extra punch. OK, this has been about six minutes. And you can see that it's really cooked down quite a lot. A lot of the moisture has evaporated. And we should have about a quarter of a cup right now. So I'm going to measure it just to make sure. And we're just going to transfer it to a small bowl and let it cool to room temperature. So I do have a question. This is only a quarter cup. You had to cook the blueberries down. It took a few minutes. Is that actually going to add significant flavor to these muffins? It is. We cooked off a lot of the moisture. It's very potent right now. OK, we'll see. We'll be back in a few <laughs> minutes. We'll get going on the rest of the recipe. We'll see if Yvonne is telling the truth. So now we have our blueberry mixture that's nice and cool. That's cooled to room temperature. Our excellent, concentrated, delicious blueberry mixture, as, right. as promised, right? That's right. OK. But before we get to the batter, we're going to put together a nice sugar topping that's going to get sprinkled on top of the muffins. And that is a third a cup of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of grated lemon zest. And this is going to add a really nice citrus flavor to the muffin. The oils and the zest are going to moisten up the sugar just a little bit. And that's it. So now onto the batter. And the method that you use to mix the batter really affects the texture of the muffins. And we tried a creaming method. And that's too cakey? It was too cakey, too crumbly. We wanted a little bit of a more hearty texture to the muffin. So we really liked the muffin method or the quick bread method. So when you say quick bread, you mean like banana bread mm -hmm. or soda bread, that kind of thing? Okay. Exactly. So we have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to whisk this together and set this aside. Okay. And now the wet ingredients. So we have two eggs and one and an eighth cups, or eight ounces, of sugar. So we're just going to whisk this together until it thickens a bit and lightens a little bit. And that's going to take about 45 seconds. We're just combining it. And we're incorporating a little bit of air into this so that the muffins won't be too dense. That looks about good. It's lightened up a bit. So now we're going to add our fat. So we have four tablespoons of melted and slightly cooled unsalted butter. And we have four tablespoons of vegetable oil. Add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And we have a cup of buttermilk. We tried milk, but it was too plain of a flavor. It didn't have enough flavor. And we tried yogurt, and that was too strong of a flavor. People could tell that there was yogurt in the muffin. And we tried sour cream, which we liked the flavor of that, but it made the muffins too dense. So buttermilk wound up being the perfect thing. OK, so we have our wet ingredients. And now we're just going to combine it with the dry. And we have the extra one cup of fresh berries. When you make a quick bread batter, you have to be really careful that you don't overmix the batter. So I'm just quickly folding it in and cutting through the center. Now, you also don't want a Smurf muffin, right? When I do them very often, they turn out sort of bluish. That throughout. happens a lot with frozen berries. But the fresh berries don't do it so much. So this is almost there. You want this batter to stay really lumpy. So if you could okay. just spray that for me. We'll use a little trick that we found here with a dishwasher. And then all the spray goes in the dishwasher, not on the floor. So now we're just going to fill all of the cups up. And a scoop really helps to do this job. 
It doesn't look like a smooth batter, it looks kind of a rough batter. This is exactly what you want. If you make it too smooth, then we'll start developing gluten and the muffins will be tough. So we have our muffins, now we're ready for the jam. Just dip it right in the center of each muffin. And even though this is only a teaspoon, this is gonna add a lot of flavor. So we have the jam in there, and instead of just leaving a blob of jam in the center of the muffin, we're gonna swirl it in. And that works really well if you use a chopstick. So you just stick a chopstick right in the muffin, and then if you use a figure eight motion, it'll swirl it into the muffin really nicely. And you just do that like one or two times, and that's it. So one last thing, we're gonna add the sugar to the top. And when this bakes in the oven, the sugar is gonna melt, and then it's gonna harden back up and create a nice crackly crust on the top of the muffin. It smells good, it smells yeah, you great. Can smell the it. lemon, yeah. Okay, so now they're ready to go in the oven. And how hot's the oven? It's 425 okay. degrees. And we're gonna bake that until the tops are set, and we're gonna rotate it halfway through. And we're baking this on an upper middle rack so that the top's brown. Okay, so it's been about 18 minutes, and let's check them. Mm. Look at them, they look great. Well, at least they're lookers. We got that part of it figured out. But we out. need to check with our okay. finger and see if they're done. And what we're looking for is to see if they're set. So I'm just touching down lightly, and that one looks done. Okay. But we can't have them yet. We just need to wait until they cool in the pan, and that's going to take about five minutes. So I let the muffins cool in the pan, and sometimes the top caps stick a little bit, so I just used a plastic knife to help loosen them. Why plastic versus metal? Because it's a non-stick pan, and you don't want to use anything sharp or you'll scratch it. Good answer. So I've been cooling my jets, too, waiting to have a great blueberry muffin. Can I now eat? It's Got ready. permission? Don't you wish you were in America's Test Kitchen right now? I can smell the lemon. Mm. 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 I have to eat for a minute, I, I can't talk. Mm. There's lots of blueberry flavor. Lots of flavor, I also like the texture. It's not like those sort of yellow cake muffins you get all the time. Mm -hmm. That's the best muffin, not even just blueberry muffin, best muffin I've ever had. So the first thing I noticed about your best blueberry muffins was they were easy, because you didn't have to cream the butter, just melt it and threw that in in a quick bread method. The other thing was making your own jam with some fresh blueberries and then swirling that into the center of the muffin, along, of course, with regular fresh blueberries that are not cooked. So there you have it, from America's Dead's Kitchen to your kitchen, a fabulous recipe for the best blueberry swirl muffins. And I, when I mean best, I mean best. Mm.